Hello everyone and welcome to a, another tutorial by me. Um, this time around I wanted to try something fun, silly, goofy, not your usual thing you would probably model in Maya. Um, today um, I'm going to make a 8-bit Mega Man. Uh, basically I'm going to make a series of 1x1x1 one by one by one, uh, polygon cubes and each cube will represent an individual pixel and we're just going to go ahead and hell, hell make a Mega Man. Um, through this uh, technique that I'll show you if you want you can go ahead and make other 8-bit characters from Mario, Link, um, objects like the mushroom or uh, Mega Man power capsules or heck if you want I even found a picture that shows a whole bunch of 8-bit versions of Street Fighter characters which uh, was actually pretty fun. I uh, threw a few of those together, made a little Ryu and Ken made them fight. It was pretty cool. But um, let's get right down to you know starting this up. Uh, basically if you want, I, I don't sit I won't recommend this just because, like I said, this is a fun tutorial. You don't need to make a whole project and stuff out of it. However, if you want to make more 8-bit stuff down the road, it'd be nice to make a folder dedicated straight for your 8-bit characters so you just have them all in one place. If you choose to do that, and you haven't seen my other tutorial on how to make a project, if you're still that new, um, click File, scroll down to Project, hit New. The new project box will pop up. Under name, go ahead and type 8-bit projects, something that has to do with 8-bit. Um, hit use defaults to go ahead and occupy everything. And then hit accept. Now, I already have a folder for projects set up, so I'm not going to go ahead and make one. I already have one. Um, so with that done, minimize out of my and pull up Google. Now, you're going to want to do a Google search simply for Mega Man 8-bit you'll come up to this page. Well, we want images. So let's look for the images that have come up. And you've got a good amount of them. Now we want something that's a uh, higher res. We want something bigger. So go ahead and click large to more or less weed out all the smaller ones and leave only the big ones. Now the one that we're going to model is right down here. This uh, one of him shooting. It's about four rows down, and maybe somewhere else on the page when you load up or when you search it. But uh, this is more or less what it looks like. Um, you specifically specifically want to look for the one that is 1080 by 995. So go ahead and click on that image. Uh, if you have it after you click on the web page and it shows the image, go ahead and close that. Scroll toward the bottom of the page, and this is the image we're looking for. And if you copied the previous one, it's just a URL. It's not going to save the image. Or at least when I've tried to, that's what it does. Anyways, click on uh, the image. It'll show it in its bigger form. Right-click on it, save image as, and save it wherever you want to save it. If you made the project folder, save it under your save it in your source images if not save it to your desktop save it to any folder where you can easily find it all right with that done let's go ahead and minimize out of that pull maya back up and we're going to import the image now we're not importing the image to model off of it it's just going to be a reference for the color and counting the pixels so we know how many blocks we need to make. Um, so let's go ahead and import the image. You want to be in your front view. Click on view, scroll down to image plane, import image. Uh, navigate your way through to source images for your project folder or wherever you saved it. Click on the picture, click open. And there we go. He's right there in our front view and here he is in our peripheral vision or perspective, I'm sorry, perspective. So from here, what we want to do is go ahead and highlight it because we don't want it sitting right there in the middle. Let's move it back some. Again, like I said, we're not using this to model off of. He's just uh, a color and pixel reference. So let's go ahead and move him back. So in the channel box, with him selected, 
go to inputs to the image plane one click it scroll down now he's we want to move him backwards on the z-axis so go ahead and click on center z left click then hold down the middle mouse button and go ahead and pull to the left and pull him back some doesn't really matter how far back you do just as long as he's not right in the way you want him out of the way um, let's go ahead and move him on the y-axis as well let's move him up a little bit again we don't need to worry about him being right in front right there on the grid line and build him box for box like I said the technique that uh, I've put together we don't need to worry about that so with that done let's quickly put a layer down so we don't accidentally click it and delete it or anything so go ahead and down here click on create new layer go ahead and double click it and name it Mega Man image go ahead and save that and with the Mega Man picture selected go ahead and right click on the layer we've created and go ahead highlight add selected objects and let go what that does is it puts that on a layer so we can hide its visibility if we want make it transparent if we want or use it as a reference that's what we want so make sure this is selected to V and R what it means to have it on reference is you can't accidentally select it and move it or delete it it's there it's permanent until you decide to unclick reference and then you can select it again so let's go ahead and keep that on R so uh, another thing to keep in mind with this tutorial or with how to make any 8-bit character with the way that I'm going to show is it's a big deal with numbers so you want to have a piece of paper handy um, for this tutorial right here you may not need it just because I'm going to give you all the numbers um, and show you why I count the way I do to make this the way I make it but for any future ones after seeing how I do this you'll probably want uh, a piece of scratch paper to write down all the numbers or even better get a piece of graph paper um, that actually works out great that's how I first started doing this is by just making them on graph paper and knowing you know where to cut so to speak now what we're going to do to start this off is we're not going to make every individual pixel or box if you will cube and place them down individually what we're going to do is we're going to make a wall a very skinny wall that'll be one block thick but a lot of blocks high and long so to do that we need to count each individual pixel for the bottom which will be the length and how high it is which will be the height we're going to take both of those numbers we're going to make we're going to create one box we're going to duplicate it all the way down to as many across as we need to go then we're going to take that whole row group it duplicate it and go as high as it needs to go so like I said we'll have one big wall from there we will start chipping off the cubes starting from the bottom left here and using a, a numeric value type of system thing on your piece of scratch paper or your graph paper whatever you have handy we're going to start here at the bottom since these uh, cubes here more or less hit the side that's where we're going to start here you always want to start where whatever image you're working with is touching the border anything that touches the border consider that zero so these right here since we're going to start at the bottom here on the left side and move up these are going to be zero since they touch the border now this next one up here this is going to be one so starting from bottom up you're going to write down a zero next line up zero next line up one next line up three and so on and so forth so uh, we'll get to that part after we make the wall so um, to finish off this 
first part of the tutorial let's get the numbers really quick for the height and length and then we'll uh, take a short break and jump onto the second video so let's go ahead and count really quick um, from left to right one two three and the reason we're counting like this and not straight from the bottom is if you tried to guess what amount of cubes were right here you'll most likely get lost the best way to do it is count where there's an empty spot and count to the right. Okay, that's going to be one pixel, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. Wherever it's jagged, you know that's obviously a cube. Um, I'll just go ahead and say it's 31 across and it's going to be 24 high. So in the next video, we'll start out by making the wall, which will be 31 across and 24 high. And we'll see you in the next video.